who holds the key here on whether or not we will see a government shutdown? Is it Congress? Is it the president? No, it's, it's almost certainly Donald Trump. Uh, Congress does not want, uh, does not, does not, let me repeat that as directly as possible, does <laughs> not want a government shutdown. Um, but the president is a wild card here, uh, almost certainly. Uh, what will he take as a, as a win? What will he take as a loss? Uh, will, will he allow some of his priorities to be shoved over to next year? We don't know that, and everything's going to come to a head by the end of the year. So um, I'd probably put a shutdown possibility at about 40% right now. Uh, Stan, let me ask you about uh, what we saw last night. You've uh, screamed from the rooftops, screamed from the, uh, the hearing room table about the fact that we don't have a normal process on Capitol Hill when it comes to uh, budgeting. What does last night tell you about uh, the, the chances that we get back to that at some point soon? Zero. Um, absolutely zero. In fact, uh, what happened last night was essentially the death of a process that was already on its last legs. Uh, they didn't follow the process. They didn't make any pretension that has had anything to do with the appropriate fiscal policy uh, for the country. There was no effort to even tie it to the, uh, what the economy needed. Instead, this was a, a, a straight-out tax cut that was, that's going to increase the deficit by substantial amounts. I think, uh, David, we're probably looking at an annual deficit of close to a trillion dollars because of this and everything else that was in the budget last, uh, last night. Uh, Stan, you've been around Washington for a long time. You've seen the uh, fiscal hawks flying in and out of town. Where are they as all of this is unfolding? Where are those who uh, have talked a long game here about uh, the fact that we need more fiscal responsibility in Washington? They, they, the fiscal hawks have gone south for the winter uh -huh. early, and they're not coming back anytime soon. Uh, all the, the, the Freedom Caucus, the Tea Party, all the folks who've said that fiscal responsibility is important, that demanded offsetting spending cuts if, if for tax increases or offsetting spending cuts for other spending like for uh, disaster aid, they've gone nowhere. They've gone silent. As a result, the deficit's going up pretty substantially, even when there may not be a need for it. Um, you've had on your show and throughout the Bloomberg uh, uh, pantheon of, of, of programs, um, the need, the, the questionable need for additional fiscal stimulus. Well, we're going to get it and get it in spades here. And the budget process did nothing, absolutely nothing, to stop that from happening or even to raise questions about it. So, um, fiscal hawks, maybe they never existed before, but they certainly don't <laughs> exist right now.